everyone welcome to our channel the howls today i want to share with you about my experience with battling witchcraft and how god delivered me from it witchcraft is an attempt to control people for evil purposes using magic spells and sorcery it is often driven by jealousy the main purpose of witchcraft is to manipulate intimidate and dominate people witchcraft is mentioned in the bible in galatians chapter 5 from verses 19 to 21 as fruit of the flesh old testament books like exodus leviticus and deuteronomy also speak about witchcraft witchcraft is forbidden in the bible because it is operated by using evil spirits god wants his children to be holy because he is holy and our bodies are meant to be a temple for the Holy Spirit, but not for the evil spirits. In the year 2012, I moved to Ukraine from India to study medicine. I started having dreams which were terrible and horrible. In these dreams, I saw feces, urine, dirty toilets, people attacking me, animals chasing me, snakes biting me, and people force feeding me suspicious foods. I could not reckon what was happening because I was rebelling against God. I also started having atheistic views. I am thankful for my mom because she encouraged me to not give up on my faith and to read my Bible every day and to pray every day. Because she insisted, I began reading my Bible and praying every day. I started having physical manifestations of witchcraft, which include dizziness, severe hair loss, severe iron deficiency anemia, bronchitis, skin allergies, and low immunity. One day, I decided that I should fast at least once a week and ask God so he could reveal what is happening with me. And I believed God would be an answer and he would help me put an end to my suffering. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. I sought after God He revealed to me what was happening. In the year 2015, I visited India during summer break. I noticed two things that happened which were very suspicious and those two things that happened actually made me think something is happening behind my back that I'm unaware of. First thing that I witnessed was a maid who was working in our house. He started staring at me every single day while I was having my breakfast without blinking an eye. Because she was staring at me, I was not able to eat my food. After that, I started to puke or have episodes of diarrhea. I was able to see a pattern about what was happening with me. I was getting sick only when I had the food that was prepared by the maid. When I was having food that was prepared by others, I was completely fine and I did not get sick. Because I was clueless about what was happening, I did not pay attention. A few days later, I caught this woman doing something very unusual. I was walking towards the kitchen, she had food in front of her and she was chanting spells over the food. And the moment she saw me, she stopped whatever she was doing and she was startled. I did not say a word, I just left from there. The very next day, I had terrible diarrhea and nothing helped me. Finally, God healed me after my mom prayed over me. I was cautious, did not know what was happening. And then I decided to not eat the food which she prepared. I spoke with my mom and I asked her to cook for me and she agreed. My mom was the only person who saw me suffer physically and my mom was there with me praying for me. Because of that, she actually believed that something was happening to me. My summer break was over. I flew back to Ukraine and I was strongly determined to get to the end of this. I was praying fervently, asking the Lord to help me, to heal me, and to reveal what was happening with me. I used to wake up early in the morning around 3 a.m. 
and I used to spend at least two hours worshiping the Lord, praying and reading my Bible and just enjoying the Lord's presence. The more I suffered, the more I kept growing closer to the Lord. This is exactly what the enemy doesn't like. Our God is a God who answers prayers. I got my answers one day. When I opened YouTube, a random video just popped up. I never searched about witchcraft because I wasn't aware. The video that popped up was called Victory Over Witchcraft Battles. As soon as I saw that, I decided to check it out, hoping I would find my answers. I found the answers for all the dreams that I've been having over these years. If in your dreams you see dirty toilets, feces, urine, people attacking you, animals chasing you and people force feeding you suspicious food that means you are under a witchcraft attack my jaw just dropped i didn't know what to do but there was this sigh of relief because at least i knew i was under the witchcraft attack i did not know how i could overcome this and i didn't know how severe it was until one day god gave me a dream in which I saw my roommate telling me that I have to go on a fast for 80 days otherwise I'm going to die even though I was skeptical in the beginning I did not want to take chances so I decided that I would fast for 80 long days God began revealing to me every single detail about the witchcraft attack how it all started who was the person behind this thing and what were the things that they used against me the purpose behind them attacking me if you are wondering who the person was that did witchcraft on me it is the maid in my house she wasn't alone in this one she partnered with another lady who is related to me by blood and i am not gonna give the names of the persons for personal reasons these were the people that i knew very closely they did witchcraft on me because they were jealous of me and they hated me seeing how god was blessing me and me also used these two people to attack me and to destroy me because he knew once i start my walk with the Lord, a potential threat to his kingdom. Both of these people were able to do witchcraft on me because they were living in my house and they had access to all my personal belongings. Some of the things that people use to cast a witchcraft spell are hairs, nails, clothes, or any personal belongings that you have. The devil tried really hard to stop me from fasting. God was holding my hand. Therefore, I was able to successfully end my fast. My fast ended just four days before my birthday. I believe if I did not go on an 80 day fast, I might not be alive today. On the 80th day, the final day of my fasting, God gave me a dream that I won and two witches lost. God not only gives us victory, but he also restores all the things that the enemy heals and destroys. My health started getting better. I did not have severe hair flow. My iron levels came back to normal. I did not have a single episode of bronchitis after my fast ended. I did not have dizziness, I didn't have skin allergies, and I was perfectly Finally, I was really happy and I was excited because God gave me victory, but still I had one issue. That is, this maid was still working in my parents' house. I did not want her to be there after I knew that she was the one behind my suffering. I called my mom and I told her every single detail and I also told her that that the maid was responsible and also revealed to my mom 
that there was another person from within the family who helped the maid to cast a witchcraft spell on me. So my mom went to the maid. My mom just was concerned because she tried, she asked her so many times to leave, but she always kept coming back with excuses for not leaving. She even spoke back to my mom and she was really rude to her. Mom called me back to inform me what happened. I really started getting concerned. I went back to praying again. This time, I prayed fervently and I just poured out my heart in front of the Lord and He heard my prayer. After two months, that woman, she just packed her stuff and she was in a hurry to leave my house. When my mom saw that, she went to the lady and she asked her, what's happening? Why are you in a hurry to leave? And this woman was sweating. My mom told me it felt like somebody was forcing her to leave. I believe it was the Lord. And because I have prayed that she should leave my house, God was kicking her out. The day the woman left my house was an actual and a complete victory. The reason that I have decided to make this video is on May 2nd, I woke up with a terrible dream which is linked with witchcraft. I knew the enemy was coming back at me again. Spiritual warfare is very real, folks, and the enemy hates God's children. He is constantly finding ways to attack God's people. But the good news is it is not too strong for the Lord. And God is a God who delivers us from the evil, and He's the one who fights our battles. If you believe Jesus can deliver you like he delivered me, type in the comments, Amen. My hope and prayer is that God would deliver you, that he would restore all the things that the enemy stole from you. If you relate with me and my struggles, please put it in the comments and I would love to pray with you guys. I will also be posting two videos in the end that helped me while I was battling witchcraft. If you think you are under a witchcraft attack, please join me in this quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to your presence today. We thank you for your wondrous works on the cross. Thank you for delivering us from the enemy. You have already won our battles. You have destroyed Satan on the cross. I pray that you would comfort and help all your children that are under the witchcraft attack and are under the strongholds of the enemy lord give them your strength to overcome the enemy and hold their hands and walk with them through their struggles restore all the things that the enemy has stolen from them we thank you because you're a god who delivers and you are a god who loves to see your children prosper. We ask this in Jesus' name. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Stay tuned for more of such videos and show us all your love and support. Thank you everyone. God bless.